Tech Garage family. So today we're going to be doing a little more on the XJS. Uh, as you can see I've got the hood up over here. Um, today we're going to be focusing on getting some new spark plugs in there and also a fresh oil change. Um, no real indication on age on the spark plugs. Uh, the oil level was a little low when we got it and looked kind of dirty. Um, and there's no like service interval tag or anything like that on the windshield. So we figured, you know, just for peace of mind, let's get the oil out of there, get it filled all the way up, uh, put a fresh set of plugs in it, and uh, yeah, see it, see what that does for the car. So uh, let me cut over here and kind of show you what we're going to be doing. So basically, we got a few torques here. And this should lift up the cover that sits over the coil packs. Um, as you can see, it looks like a previous individual that serviced this. Put the oil capacity <laughs> right on here. Uh, not exactly sure why they did that, but I guess as a friendly reminder. Um, looks like it holds quite a bit of oil though. So we went out and bought 10 quarts. Should be more than enough. Um, so I'm going to pop this cover off here and start the process of getting a plug out. And then I'll check back and we can kind of compare the uh, condition of those. Uh, the car does have 95,000 miles. So these potentially could be original, which means, you know, they're, what, 25 years old, um, which would mean they're definitely ready for a service. So let's take a look. So first bit of discovery. Um, seems like there's some sort of thing going on with the coil pack harness here. So let me show you guys real quick. Oops. Looks a little melty. I can see it here and here. A little bit here and here. It kind of looks like someone's been in here before and kind of fiddled around with it. Maybe put new plugs on the end. So I'm basically going to get the coil packs out and take a little closer look at this. Like I said, the car runs basically fine. There's a very slight miss uh, idle when it's hot, but it's very subtle. So a little unsure as to... You know what's going on here could just be that someone's putting you uh, plugs on the end of here and just not done the greatest of jobs uh, but we'll take a look and see once we get the coil packs out so we've done a little more discovery and um, got the coil packs out and this is kind of what i found so far um, so let me share that with you so this is number six It'll focus. It's quite a lot of oil on the end of that. And same with number four, which makes me think that's probably the valve cover gasket. And I also noticed on this guy, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a hairline crack in the coil. So I guess today I'll be doing some investigating on, you know, servicing these coils, getting some replacements, things like that. Um, see if we can just get one or if we need a whole set. Like I said, the car is running fine. I think the oil most likely could be the actual root cause of the misfire. Um, but, you know, we'll do a little investigating. Also check out kind of what the deal is with this harness as well. Um, and then kind of see what the next steps are. But in the meantime, I'm going to pull the plugs out and kind of see what's going on with that too. Okay, so quick update. Um, looks like quite a few of the seals around the spark plugs and the valve cover have been leaking. Um, that's basically been causing oil to kind of pool around the spark plugs. And on uh, cylinder six and four, it seems it's sort of wicking up into the coil, which is less than ideal. Um, let me show you the plugs I got out of here. So, as you can see all the oil, especially on these back four, some of this is just because it was transmitted between the socket and the next plug. These are the two culprits that were quite bad. Um, 
I have a brand new set of Champion plugs, but admittedly these ones don't look old. They look like they've probably been serviced or installed quite recently. Um, and I don't have basically the valve cover gasket right now. So I may just blow these down with some uh, parts cleaner to get all the oil residue off um, and put them back in just to keep the spark plug holes sealed. Um, and then do a little looking around online for what options I have for a valve cover gasket and potentially a coil. Um, and I also want to research the coil harness as well. Just, um, you know, like I showed you guys, check it again. But it definitely looks a little kind of melty. Um, almost like someone's been in here on some of these like this. I don't know if you can see it very well. But it's kind of, there's definitely some something going on with this. <laughs> and maybe it is just that it's melting. Um, but, you know, if there's an affordable option, you can kind of see here like the insulation's all coming off. I just don't want that going on under the valve cover here. Um, so if there's an affordable option of a replacement uh, coil harness, something like that, we may look into that as well. Um, so yeah, not exactly what I was looking for this morning. A bit of a bummer. Um, but I think the next step is we'll try and get the oil out of here real quick. And, uh, at least that way we can get the new filter on and, um, you know, let's kind of progress with the service. So a brief update, um, looks like the shop that worked on this last put the oil pan drain plug in with an impact or something. Um, on these motors, it's a really big drain plug. Uh, kind of reminds me of like what the Land Rover engines and stuff use. And you know, it's an all aluminum motor, uh, at least the pan is. And uh, I don't want to risk stripping out anything. So I'm gonna have to do a little research on how to Kind of creatively remove this without doing any damage so it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer to figure this out um, in the meantime i'm gonna get a valve cover gasket on order and also probably some new pigtails for the coils because it looks like all the insulation is coming off those and uh, you know that just seems to me like a place where you could get arcing or something like that that could cause a potential misfire so i'll be checking back on this uh, probably a bit later today when i have some time to hopefully get that drain plug out um, so as usual with cars that you kind of unearth from storage units or barns, they usually have a bunch of surprises kind of lurking within and this one is no exception, but all part of the fun and it just means that it'll run better and better as we get all these little bugs figured out. So check back a bit later. So we ran into a few roadblocks yesterday. Um, you know, I think I showed you some of the issues we ran into with the oil around the spark plugs and the cracked kind of sheathing on the coil, uh, like the coil pigtails. So basically we've ordered up new valve cover gasket kit, uh, new pigtails for the coils. Um, I'm gonna hold off on putting the new plugs in and basically we're gonna pull the valve cover off. And the valve cover is not in the best shape kind of as far as, let's see if we can get a little, a little picture here for you kind of condition wise it's just the paint but you know it's flaking off in some areas and uh, you know all in all just a little crusty so we figure as the valve cover is coming off uh, we'll probably send it off to powder coat and then we'll reseal the valve cover gasket which should stop all the oil issues in the spark plug holes um, and probably honestly clean up the misfire we were having too. I'm guessing that oil around the plugs was not ideal. Um, the other issue we ran into was the drain plug on this motor's uh, 30 millimeter. Um, and that was something I did not have in my toolkit. Um, I will also say, just as a public service announcement for those that need to know this, that when you have to use a breaker bar with a cheater handle on it to undo an engine oil drain plug there's a problem so for those that seem to think using an impact wrench is the way of putting these on you are mistaken and for all us mechanics at home we really appreciate it if you stop doing that <laughs> 
Um, for me, I just get really nervous. The oil pan's aluminum. We've got this other metal plug and the fear of stripping the threads out of the oil pan is extremely high uh, when, <laughs> when you have that much leverage on the drain plug. So anyway, thankfully it didn't strip out. It was no issue at all as far as the threads and damage. Just had to have a five foot handle on the end of the socket to get it undone. Um, so I'm gonna drain all the last of the oil out here. Doesn't look terrible, but definitely old. And we're gonna get a new filter and fresh oil in the motor for now. So I ordered this uh, Beck Arnley oil filter for the car. I know they do a lot of OEM for the, uh, the Jags. <laughs> when I got it, it had the man filter in it, which, you know, they're good too. They do the same thing. They do a lot of OEM stuff. So this is the one we're going with. Um, so yeah, we'll get the other filter off and then top this one up with some oil and get some oil back in the car. I guess it would only make sense that the person that used an impact gun to put the oil drain plug on use something or similar method to put the oil filter on. So uh, even with both hands around it, trying as hard as possible to unthread it, it is on there rock solid. So. We're gonna have to get to uh, some barbaric techniques to get this thing off, but I refuse to be defeated on this one. So hammering a screwdriver through the oil filter, and again, using a cheater bar to undo it was successful. But people, we do not need to do this. Make sure your mating surfaces are clean. Just a little bit of lubricant on the seal and you can do it up hand tight and you should be leak free so no strap wrenches nothing like that and we should be good and it makes all our home mechanics so much more thankful when we want to service our own car um there'll be a kind of day three on this and um you know we'll kind of update everyone once we get these other parts in so Looks like it'll be a little longer video than we first expected, but you'll get to see how to do the valve cover gasket and also the, uh, the pigtails for the coils and, uh, you know, get to see this freshly powder coated valve cover gasket at the same time. So, um, yeah, we'll stay tuned, but, um, progress is progress, right? And for a barn find, you always expect a few surprises like this.